Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Soccer Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, as a woman, is it okay if I propose to my boyfriend? Well, I love this question because men have had a lot of pressure over the years with traditional things, whether it comes to dating and asking the woman out or, or asking them to marry them. And we all want to have equality. We want to be accepted as equal, whether you're male or female. So why shouldn't the woman ask the man out? I personally think that it's great that both sexes have the option to do whatever they want. The traditional form of way things were done for many, many years is changing and we can't stay stuck in, in certain aspects of what's always been the case if we want to be equal footing with each other. It shouldn't be gender specific on who does what. It's if you feel it, you're in a good place, you're on the same page with each other in a romantic sense and all the other things that go into a partnership. Absolutely. If you want to propose, go ahead and do it. There's a lot of people that I've talked to in my coaching business that have given ultimatums to their partners. Now, male and female here. But the thing is, if you have to give an ultimatum to somebody, you're probably not in the right place or you haven't had the right discussions. Because when you're progressing together equally as a couple, these conversations come up. What are we going to do in our future? Do you want kids? Do you want to get married? Where do you want to live? All these things are part of the communication or they should be. But when there's an ultimatum put in place, it's because generally they haven't been discussed. So as a woman, if you are feeling, okay, it's coming up to the two year mark, we've kind of talked about it, but we haven't really set, you know, a, a time frame. go ahead and set the time frame. Why not? If you're on a page where you're telling each other you love each other and you are committed to each other, it really shouldn't matter who proposes to who. Because I think if you're the one proposing, you have a lot of things that you can make happen. You can set the, the environment of where you want it to happen, when you want it to happen. You go out and you purchase a ring that you like for that person, or maybe you've discussed what you like. Maybe you both have already talked about, oh, well, if we got married, we want this type of ring, we'd want this type of engagement. So you can implement those tools into the situation if you decide to be the one that gets down on one knee and proposes. So as a woman, I understand that a lot of people, they kind of want the fairy tale thing. I mean, look at all the reality shows out there about, you know, having the fairy tale wedding engagement, all those things that go with it. And you still want the man to be initiate and be the one that does it all. I get that because it is a tradition. And some women feel that they're being needy or weak if they go and, and are the ones that propose to the guy, like he should be doing it to me. I don't agree with that anymore and I know that's my personal opinion but I think that if we want things to change and we want to be equal partners why can't we both do things that on the same level if you want to get married and you've talked about it but it hasn't happened yet make it happen why do we sit back and get disappointed if it's not happening because the man hasn't asked us yet take charge make it happen ask the question men have always had to have the rejection you know maybe in their head about what if the person says no or they don't want to go on a date all these things it's sometimes better if you understand as well of what guys have to go through in certain areas because then i think men and women tend to understand each other a little better they're not pointing fingers and saying all oh, men are all this or women are all that because we're taking charge of being both people and, and understanding what each gender goes through in certain situations. This is super important because I think it helps you grow and helps you understand each other so much better. I don't look at it as a sign of weakness or you're being desperate because they haven't asked you yet, oh, is it ever going to happen? I actually think it shows confidence and a huge strength because you're going after what you want and what's important to you. We have to look at the fact that things have changed. There's a lot of same-sex marriages, and thank God things have changed. There's a lot of single women who are not in a relationship but want to have a child, and they're making that happen. I really think we're in the, the, the era, or more than era, 
decades to come of good things that are changing. We're not sitting there saying, this is the man's role, this is the woman's role. We're now becoming each person within the relationship is taking a little bit of everything. So it doesn't just become a defined scenario, defined role of who you are within that relationship. It's not a woman's job to be in the kitchen all the time. It's not a man's job to always have to do all the handiwork. These are things that we have to adapt to as we move forward. Because if we don't, there's going to always be those same old arguments and those same breakups that continue to happen because we're not evolving as a couple. So in closing, love is love. And if you're ready to propose to your special person, do so. Nobody's holding you back. Don't look, listen to old things about what you should and shouldn't do. Do what's right for you and your relationship. I know I would do it. I would have no problems proposing. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber C today. Please leave your comments. And if you have any show topics for me, I'd love to hear. Just leave them in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel and click like. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.